Kadeem Carey. Awesome running back. Awesome. Uh, one of the best in the country without a doubt. Not saying that because we're playing him this week. He's really good. He can end up there fast. He's shifty. He can bounce it outside. He can change direction. So the guy, not only is he a strong inside runner, he can make you miss in the space, and he hits holes very fast. I'm impressed with Kadeem Carey. I tell you this, he's as good a back as there is in the country. How you feeling? We gotta do our job, you know, uh, read our keys, stay in our gaps, and if he comes in our gap, we gotta make a tackle. A guy like this makes it harder sometimes because he hits it in there so fast that, you know, you gotta react and be ready to come off your block without getting too technical and, and make, make the tackle. Uh, we're not gonna change what we do, I mean, Defensively, we'll do a mix and match what we do, but we have to stop him, and then we have to stop that quarterback because that quarterback's a really good runner. I don't like that. He's fast. He's good. So those two elements of the game, if we, not to say they can't throw the ball, I don't want that to be misconstrued, okay? But if we stop the run, stop Kadeem and stop the quarterback, that'll go a long way towards us having success in the game on our side of the ball on Saturday. We do play Saturday, you know, Saturday afternoon. All right. What is it about Tyrell Robinson that you think can make him so special? He's so, he's so sudden. He's so athletic. He, if he knew what we were doing right now, he could probably start. He's athletically, he's just one of those kids that's a great athlete. You know, I can't teach a guy to be cat-like from sideline to sideline. You can work on it, but I can't teach that. I can't teach, teach a guy to be 6'4 and run like a deer. Uh, we got to teach him the X's and O's, but that, that young man has got some athleticism that one of these days he's going to be really special. By the way, Kiko got 13 tackles last weekend. 13, I love it. I'm still, he's, I'm sure he's still leading the NFL. And Jarris Bird, two picks. So what is Tyree been like in practice? Tyree's very good. The back end is sometimes as a coach in the back end, you make a mistake back there and, it, and it's, it's, uh, it's big time, you know? So in retrospect, I wish we would have, I won't say not redshirted, but got him some reps and brought him along and stuff. But in the long run, they are both really talented kids, really talented. And, and uh, they're gonna have great careers here. That says something about Tyree. You think you're going to need him sooner rather than later? You wish you'd have got him some playing time. Before. Yeah. Well, now that we're in the 11th game, I'm glad we're doing what we're doing. But, sure. but he's a guy. Next spring's going to be huge for those two guys. Uh, they're really, really good athletes. I'd like to have about 30 of them. <laughs> yeah, 30. Were they a package deal, or did they? Going ways, or how that I, my recollection is, and, and the credit goes to a lot of other people, not me. Uh, DP was involved. Uh, John Neal was involved. You know, I don't want to miss some. I didn't do a whole lot. Uh, they, I, I think they were going to go to the same school long, is the way they, it looked like they approached it. Because I never heard one guy say, well, I'm going here, thinking about this or I'm thinking about this. They all were talking about the same school. So, I'm assuming that.